Hello and what's up Madlang people? So I just came home from an open mic at Chudo Rose. Uh, I played with uh, Becca and yeah it was a lovely first gig for both of us. Uh, the crowd was very good as well. They enjoyed our set. Um, it was a bit of an acoustic um, R&B and yeah pretty soon I'm gonna introduce her to my to you guys uh, here on my channel we'll probably have a jam or if she's got gear to to share with us and you know um, review or demo we'll do that uh, but for now I'm excited because before I went to um, the open mic gig uh, I received a parcel so we're gonna be opening it so here we go here's the parcel I already got an idea what's inside but let's just open it together here it is so Chase CH20 um, it's a headset um, optimized acoustic design and Perfectly suited for digital pianos and keyboards. Also, I wanted to have a decent headset. Uh, I like my Minion. That's my son's headset. I like the sound there. But um, because soon, Becca and I, we will be recording our our stuff. Um, and I need a decent monitor uh, to mix and listen to our recording. Hence, I bought this one. Plus... My son wanted me to buy him a digital piano and obviously when it gets too loud in the house um, this will be the answer and it says here digital pianos and keyboards so this would be a good um, headset and I think I read as well before I bought this one on the review that it's also a good uh, guitar headphones so we'll try this on and then because it's difficult for me to to um, it's like for you guys to really hear the sound quality of this headset you will only sort of rely on what I'm gonna be talking to you about the headset so um, if only there's a way I would love that you can sort of listen to it but I'll, I'll review as um, objective as I can to share to you how I find this uh, headset okay so let's open it there we go nothing inside let's come with this one it already came with the uh, um, adapter or the converter for one quarter inch so it's lightweight and it should be adjustable uh, you just slide from this one to adjust and then there's like a material that covers um, it's quite cheap um, but uh, let's let's try it later how the sound quality is um, the wire that came with it is not that also I'm not sure if this is a heavy duty um, wire and it's quite decent uh, length it says I think it's two meters I, th I think it says on the box somewhere um, yeah um, before I bought it I, I, I definitely seen it uh, like two meters so Yeah. It 
least there's something new that I can use so I'll get back to you guys I'll just try it with the keyboards my guitar and probably with my phone just to listen to the sound quality and then I'll just detail um, to you um, how I find the sound quality of this one okay see you in a bit okay guys so I'm back and this is my verdict I compared the Chase um, CH20 to three more uh, headsets that I own so let's start with the cheapest one this is from Poundland and I said when I bought this um, what could go wrong it's just one pound and uh, because I uh, compared it now to the other headphones I think this one I can say that no chance so let's put this one aside the pond land uh, the next one is my minion my trusted minion headphones this is um, Lexi book I think and uh, it's nine pounds something so let's say ten pounds uh, headset I really like this headset it's comfortable and the padding here is really nice the sound quality is really really good as well the trouble is this is not an instrumental headphone so if you're listening to music this is really good the bass and it's really it's really nice uh, when you use this headset so I'm so used to this one but um, I'll, I'll tell you later why now I've got a new headphones that I, I really love and um, so this is the new one it's lightweight it's not so fancy like the material like, but it's an instrumental headphones and I can hear now the difference that one the minion this one the minion is muffled it's like too much bass uh, on this one so if I'm playing the guitar or I'm playing the keyboards because I, I tried my uh, Casio CTK1150 and my MIDI keyboard which is um, M Audio I think MIDI keyboard this one stands out um, this one is really like more of bass and the sound this one's balance you can hear the treble and the bass okay so uh, this got loads of um, pros like the lead is longer it comes with the jack so you know, don't need to buy separately it's 19 99 I think pounds so almost 20 pounds but if you're an instrumentalist like myself this one is really really good right my last headphones that I also tested or compared with that is my Bose headphone this is for music and for your iPhone it's intended for your iPhone so there's three rings there so that you can use the volume control uh, uh, when you want to answer your call this one is really really nice but it's super expensive uh, compared with the rest of the uh, headphones that I got uh, super comfortable in terms of the pad padding um, yeah I can't complain with this one but you can use this as your monitor headphones or for your guitar for the guitar amp um, because it's got three rings so even if you buy the adapter there's a bit of a difference there when you use this one so I just use this when I'm listening to music because it's lightweight it's really comfortable the sound response, the bass and everything is really good but I won't recommend this if you're a guitarist so having said being a guitarist 
I use my Zoom Unix on and plug again all the headset. So the Poundland headset now totally rubbish. This one didn't work. You need to pull this one out a little bit, and that's the difficult part to get that right distance to make it work as stereo otherwise it will just be mono and you can never enjoy your guitar playing with this headset because of the jack but the sound quality once you get the right position for this and the adapter this one once you get it right there's a gap supposedly like that and it's not fully uh, put on because it will be mono or there's something really wrong but if you use this on your iPhone or iPad it's really good right so that should be out of the way and between the Minion and this one I really like this one now because even the guitar there with the Minion it's uh, muffled it's so it doesn't sound what it should be this one is close to the sound of your amp if your guitar got a bit of noise it really picks up with this one the other one it masks the sound of your guitar so you think that oh i'm playing a really clean tone but no this one is really good um so i would recommend this if you're a guitarist they should be labeling this as a guitarist um, headset and obviously it says there for a digital piano and keyboards and I tested it um, using GarageBand, Grand Piano and MIDI keyboard it's so crispy the sound is really nice using this one so yeah Chase CH20 really really good by the way this is not a sponsored uh, video I just wanted to share for those of you who are curious I wanted to buy this is not your expensive uh, um, headphones uh, studio monitor um, close back um, headset so that one is quite expensive so this is your like home based uh, practice headset where you can just crank up your guitar but not disturbing any neighbors and just using this one sound quality is so balanced I haven't tested this or using uh, the amp and then the headset for the amp then using your analog pedal or stomp boxes or pedal board that would be interesting but with my zoom g1x on I really love the sound quality of this one so it's getting late guys, it's past midnight now. Uh, thank you for watching and see you again soon. Bye!